What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is definitely a special one if you can't already tell by the title. Today I will be installing my bags on my car. Now I've been waiting so long to get these and I've been waiting so long to actually bring you guys this video. Now, first off, I need to give a huge shout out to my boy Evan at Throttle. <laughs> And if you're not convinced yet, if you sign up as a VIP uh, before this month ends, you're entered to win Calvin's Miata. You're like, who's Calvin? TJ Hunt's boy, Calvin. Yeah, that Miata. It has flares, seats. It's pretty cool. Hey, if I won, I'd be stoked. You know what? I should probably ask Evan if I'm entered. I don't know. You sign up as a VIP, and that's your automatic entry to win uh, his Miata. So that's definitely another bonus. All right. Now, let's get into the install. You're gonna look a whole lot different. I've always wanted to like take a picture with my toolbox, because it's the same color as my car. I think today's the day. Okay, let's get straight into this install. So first things first is I have to obviously take out my coilovers. Now, that's not gonna be that hard, Probably the hardest part is going to be running the airlines and setting up the management, but my friend from school uh, is going to come over and help me with that. So first things first is I'm going to take out my seats and then lift the car up and then start taking out the coils. The reason I have to take out my back seats is that that's how I'm going to get to the top three bolts of uh, the rear coilovers. So let's get into it. I feel like I'm on a race team right now and I'm liking it. Okay, I should probably clean out my car first. Whoop. Taking out back seats on a Subaru is literally the probably the easiest thing that's gonna happen today. Um, there's two bolts on the bottom, one on this side, one over here, and then uh, once the bottom comes out, then you could take out the top piece, which there are three bolts. One over there, one right here, one right where I'm sitting. So, let's do it. All these bolts are all 12 mil. Seats are out. Seats are out, part two. Honestly, these vlogs are only good because Tommy. Let's just put that out there. He, he showed up Hello. to the house. We have the car on four jack stands right now. Um, we're both starving, so we're gonna grab something, something to eat and then throw off the wheels, take off the coils, and wait for the bags. The bags aren't here yet. I just want you guys to know that. The bags are not here. Even though the unboxing videos before this, I'm waiting for the UPS guy. I'm trying to go chronological order. You're doing an unboxing video and then an install video? Yes. This is two videos this in is, one. This is, yes. Today. Wow. It's Friday, perfect, Friday. it's perfect. All right, so I got all the wheels off. Now it's time to take out the coils. They're super easy to take out. There's literally five bolts total holding all of them in because Subarus have McPherson style all the way around. So what that means is there's two bolts here. One, two, and then three at the top, which is right there. And that's it, and they're out. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and I'll be back. So I tried to get this bolt off, it was a little hard, so I got this to extend it, and I literally snapped it. I li like, you know, like, it's now snapped. Like, if this is not impressive, like, if I don't, if you don't smash that like button, like, I don't know where we're at, like, I have to figure out another way. Yeah. All right, so here's our progress. We got one coil out. There it is. It's pretty dusty. Time for the next one. All right, coil number two's out. How you feeling? Are you excited? Uh, feeling good. Still waiting for the UPS guy. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's probably what we're gonna say for the pat for the next like three hours. Or even tomorrow when the box is in show today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we now have both rear coils out and we just took out the passenger side front, which is right here, and I'm leaving everything super organized just because obviously that makes it a lot easier. And now I got Tommy and Steven helping me do the driver's side front, and it's literally the same exact as the rear. There's two bolts to the knuckle down there, and then there's three on the top right here. Take off the bottom ones first, and then do the top three and have someone uh, be holding the bottom when you take off the last bolt because then the coilover is just going to drop out. So, that's how you do it. All the coils are now out. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Come here, come here. Thank you, thank you. Empty. There's the three bolts right here. And then the two bolts that we took out are right here on the steering knuckle. Obviously, you got to take out the ABS and the brake line right here. So, basically, now we're just waiting for UPS to come to drop off my bags. But for right now, we're basically looking for a good spot to run my airlines and where to mount my tank and where to put the compressor. So I'm thinking the compressor is going to go in here. I'm thinking tank is going to go up here and sit right there. And my compressor is going to go down here where the spare tire was. And there's the compressor. <laughs> All right, we are here at UPS. We're, we're getting our package. We're getting it. What's the plan? The plan is we're going to walk in. We're going to be like, honestly, my name is Alexander Vargas. Can I have my package? And see how it works out. Perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. What do we have? We got a special delivery, Captain. <laughs> so uh, the UPS guy is a savage. And he had my packages. He's like, here you go. I said, thank you for bags. Over. There it is, airlift performance. Okay, so we told Steven that the package that is coming got delivered to the wrong house, it's getting rerouted, but we actually, oh God, they're all outside. I'm gonna ask him if they could help with my groceries right now. <laughs> and he bought the S4. Horn works. Hello, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna ask him if they can help with my groceries right now. How do you pop the, how do you pop the, pop, oh, there it is. Hey, Steven, can you help me with my groceries? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. I got him. Yeah. No, there we got Holy. him. Holy. <laughs> Holy. Let's go. 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 Did he, what did he say? Can you take my groceries? Thanks, dude. That's funny. Did you think that I actually got rerouted? I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not sure what's in these boxes, but we're gonna right do now. it. Okay, so I just busted out a full unboxing video, so I assumed you guys already saw that, but I had to film it real quick, get that out. Now I can install these guys. So now that I have all my parts laying around everywhere, I'm gonna have my friends come back over because they were they're trying to interrupt the unboxing, so I had to send them away. Uh, they went to go get ice cream, but now I'm going to wait for them to come back and then we're going to get straight into this install. I think I'm going to lay all my parts out like this, try to get them in order, throw them all on and air out. Okay, so we made a run to the hardware store getting a bunch of Teflon tape and what else did we get? Some hardware? Rage quit. I did rage quit. I almost lost it because there was a lot of traffic and I just want to come home. Speed bumps, all kinds of stuff. So now that we have every hardware piece that we need, all the Teflon tape that we need, I'm just kidding. We're good to go. We're going to set up the tank. We're going to set up these airlines. And uh, what's first, Paul? What are we doing first? What are we first? Set up the tank. Uh, set up the tank. Okay. Go take out that, like, seatbelt cover thing. Oh, yeah. I'll take out. So this is what's in the way. That's going to be taken out. And then we're going to mount the tank up here. And well, first we have to actually set it up and throw these fittings and water traps and all kinds of stuff on here. I just realized it kind of matches my brakes. It's pretty dope. Okay, so first bag's going in. Literally the same exact thing as a coilover. Three at the top, two at the bottom. But I'm honestly going to need probably your help to actually throw this thing in. Got it. Here we go, here we go. This oh, whole, God. This whole thing's like out of focus. This, honestly. You got it? This has to go. Come on. I can't see. Potato, anything. potato, dude. <laughs> Alright, we're good. First one's in. Even though it's like all messed up. <laughs> so I just threw in 
one of the rear bags. So basically it is literally the same thing as taking out the coilovers, two at the bottom, three at the top. Um, so I'm just gonna finish putting all of them in, tighten everything down. All the airlines that we're routing, we're routing it behind the bag, which is back here. And then we're gonna get to the good stuff, which is the compressor, tank, and I'm mounting everything. So I'll see you in a second. So now that we have all, oh my God. <laughs> now that we have all four bags in, we are now working on the management side. So we have this, which is the brain and the compressor all set up on this little board thing. And then we have these little rubber things to make it quiet. An isolator, it's called an isolator. Rubber isolator, make the compressor quiet. And now I don't really know what we're doing. Running lines. I think. We're gonna mount that in there. Then. We're gonna mount this thing in here, in there, and then we're gonna run some lines. There are tools and parts everywhere. So we basically, we didn't finish. It got too dark, my friends had to leave. It's just, I hate working in the dark, so I'm gonna finish this tomorrow, but we haven't really gotten that much farther as in putting stuff in, just kind of setting stuff up. But this is where we're at. This is where my tank is gonna be, right back here. It's gonna set like right there. And then this is all my management stuff. It's tucked under here. Obviously we left this, but. So I'm gonna have all four lines running into here, running it through this back plate. Here's my compressor. This is the compressor line, power, ground, all sorts of stuff, which is gonna run to the tank on this side. I have a fair bit of work to do tomorrow, but we're definitely gonna save that till tomorrow, so, so I'll see you guys in a bit. What is going on guys? Today is the next day, day two of this bag install. So basically, I try to get ahead of the game and set up for today before I actually start recording. So basically all I've done since yesterday is this seat, four bolts, super easy, one on each corner, took it out. Um, just out of the way, makes it a little easier. And then I took out these. This is all like the side rail to actually run the harness and run the lines. So now what I've done is I've only done one line um, and the harness and literally all I did is here's all the line here's the harness put this give it a little slack ran it through down there then straight all the way down it's gonna be under the carpet and then through a grommet over there that's all I've done so far so I'm gonna continue to do that finish that all up then go to the next part Honestly, backing your own car, it's gonna be satisfying when I'm done. But like, just just look just look around. Just this is what this is what happens. This is what happens. But we're finally getting somewhere. I routed all the lines. Everything's connected. This is what we're working with here. Right there. Here's my line. It's gonna be propped up right there. So it got a little wiggle room. It's coming from down there. Uh, I have my harness, all the wiring for that running down here. This is what's going on back here. I got my tank. Um, I need to fix a couple things with my tank. But oh, here's the rear line too with a little grommet so I don't rub that. I could show you the management right there. Also, all four lines are connected in the proper holes. So now I need to uh, take out my tank, put all the fittings in the proper holes. I also need a, uh, a drain for like the water trap or like the pressure relief. I need to put a drain in there and then connect my management or the manifold to the tank. Put the water trap, I got a lot of stuff to do. I'll be back. Alex, we need an update. Um, it should work. That's the update. It should Wheels work. are going Everything. on. Everything's assembled. Everything's assembled. Essentially, this this should say three P when I turn the key. I think. Every yeah. I'm gonna, I'm so scared. That's it. Oh, we got power. System not calibrated. Use the. 
What is that? What is that? High five. I think stuff is working. As you can see, end of day two, it's dark outside. But I do have these pretty cool lights here, so that's all right. So basically what happened is, I went full focus mode from about 9 a.m. until, is it 9 p.m.? I don't even know, it's eight o'clock. I've been going out for basically 11 hours, and all I did today was just run the lines, mount the lines, make sure everything fit, set up the tank, set up the compressor, all sorts of stuff. It wasn't that fun, but we're just missing one more piece to attach to the actual compressor, and then we should be good to go. I put a couple things backwards. I messed up, I'm not gonna lie, but everything can be fixed, so that's all good. Basically, my dad went to Home Depot to get a part for me, shot out to the pops. Uh, once he has that, hopefully they have them, then we're gonna hook it up, hopefully air out tonight. We'll see where we're at. This is our last attempt for the night. I'm gonna set you guys here. Hopefully, uh, it's go time. All right, this thing is booting up. Tank is filling! What do we think? The tank is filling up in this corner here. Still building pressure. You can't even read it, but it's about 110 PSI. Ah, okay, so now we have air in the bags. We have pressure holding. Now we just need to do the calibration, but I had to air up before I go down. So now we're gonna take it off the jack stands, put it on the ground, and then see what happens, I guess. She's on the ground. No, I can't crank her up though. You can't get her out? <laughs> All right, I'll air up, bro. Hey, hey, look at how high it is. You want me to air up? Yeah, you're gonna have to. Okay, we're gonna torque the wheels. We're gonna air out, but you're gonna have to, to see it tomorrow. To They're gonna see it tomorrow. They hate me. Okay. They hate me so much. I'm doing a full edit. Car's gonna be aired out. It's gonna be good. Side skirts on, front bumper on. You gotta see it in its prime. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.